Hi, Fatio Destiadan, big electronics cabinet from uh, French fighter aircraft. So it is supposedly from uh, Etendard 4, but the manufacturing date is not matching because Etendard 4 was uh, 70s era aircraft and this box was made in 82. So maybe it is a retrofit. I am not sure. We have a 40 cm deep box which is the LMT, excuse me, LMT IR221 transceiver. So obviously, uh, probably radio communications transceiver. Uh, French made LMT was le matériel téléphonique, it is not uh, existing anymore. But they were responsible for a lot of uh, telephone stuff, of course, and also made some uh, avionics. So we have a top part here with, uh, with integrated heatsink, big uh, main antenna output here, two connectors on the front, the manufacturer plate. I will try to zoom in for you on this stuff so you can see the connector for the output. The uh, main area here with our meter which is showing 5538 hours which is actually quite a lot. We have a broken uh, fuse holder. We have a test button, four little uh, indicators for transmit receive, antenna, indic, indicator for indic, or count and count, so controller maybe, you regular uh, securing points, and you can see that code of uh, June uh, 1982, uh, 2297 is a serial number, STTI and uh, military approval stamp here, so it is a truly a military uh, aircraft part. So we will open it. So this part, this uh, unit was uh, actually quite a pain to open the first time because of uh, bends and dings in the cover that was uh, preventing me to uh, remove the cover completely. So for this, you can see what you do, you, if you have a bent cover on a unit like this and you want to open it, either you find a super uh, powerful uh, uh, sucking uh, thing or you uh, drill a hole, you insert a screw with a coarse thread and you pull with pliers. And usually it will allow you to straighten enough of the metal in order to be able to remove it. It happens very often on old stock equipment because of roof storage and handling stuff falling on it and so on. So I did remove two screws at the back and by the way nothing else at the back. Just securing points, venting all. We have also venting holes at the bottom. I believe there is a forced airflow going in this. So I should be able to extract it. We have a built-in handle here on the front in stainless steel. And normally it should come. Okay, here we are. Since we pass this point, it will be a lot easier. Do not mind the brown tape here because if not the all the cars will fall. So here is what we have very uh, beaten up cover and we have so a main chassis with several modular units on it. The main transmit amplifier it seems here. This it seems to be the receive sex their section, but you can see there is a HS uh, masking tape here, which means in French uh, or service or out of order. 
So, so we have at least one piece out of order here. And I see another one here. Okay, so this thing, it seems it was a tinker at the workshop or something like this. We have at least a big card cage here with a quite a nice circuit boards. So this will be interesting to look at. We have at the bottom, uh, apparently, power supply unit, which seems to be modular. So we have even a little uh, puller thing here to extract it, it seems. And we have one more shielded box here, and maybe more stuff inside, in the middle. So now what I need to do is obviously to take apart all the modules, and then we'll be able to have a look at each one separately. Okay, I am finally done. You can see I end up with a number of units that we will need to have a look at each one. It might actually be quite uh, time consuming because you can see we will be dealing with a number of super tiny scrolls. But first I will install the camera overhead. So I believe I will start with this frame assembly. By the way, the yellow uh, aluminium here is ruining my white color balance. So we still have the circuit boards to extract just, uh, just after, but first you can see it is a quite complicated uh, aluminium frame. Uh, main motherboard here for the uh, plug-in cards. Big wire harness going to the front, some connectors for the uh, modules I did extract, remains of uh, coax, a lot of uh, coax wiring in this thing by the way, two power transistors here, uh, super thick wire harness here with, you can see, a teflon coating, super super strong, die cast uh, insert here in the frame of course aircraft uh, grade captive nuts everywhere here is what we have at the back of the front so the connectors connector here for the power supply unit with the big uh, conductors the little lights the pass button on the other side we have the hour meter which is made by uh, Electrodynamics. Oops, here. Here, the broken fuse holder. Actually, I might 
have replacement one, so I will maybe consider replacing it before I uh, put back the unit together. I will uh, see some power resistor here, so it seems this uh, path is acting like a heat sink, more or less. Connector for the receiver assembly, connector for the transmitter, some uh, rigid coax still in the way that I will not bother undoing, this one also. It is written at least on the wires, you can see the plug where it is supposed to go most of the time, so it will not be uh, too difficult to put it back together. Anyways, it is not a big deal because it will never be used again. And here we have the nice set of circuit boards that I will free for you. Okay, because they are not secure at all. In fact, the circuit boards are secured, but we have so just this little part which is uh, not doing anything except for spacing them. And we have each time one plate with the uh, one FR4 material piece here with the label of uh, all the components of the board. You can see, quite interesting. I believe uh, I did not notice I might be missing one. Yes, I am missing one here. But apart from this, each one has, and also they add, lies, uh, act insulators between the boards, apparently. So the boards are secured with this metal notches or extractors thing. So quite a nice uh, collection here. Actually, it is really, really interesting. Okay, let's go from, through them. Uh, first one, ah, more out of order labels. So you can see Socapex board to board connectors. Super nice old school gold ceramic ICs. So these ICs have a problem. They are gold ceramic, but I did notice some of them will actually rust, like here. It seems uh, the base metal is uh, still somewhere, and some of them will lose their uh, information. It looks like it is some kind of a decal they did apply and with a conformal coating. If a conformal coating goes away, it will take the decal away. You have here uh, some uh, silicone goop between the pins of the connector for insulation purpose. And you have here more ICs under this label saying uh, something is out of order on this board. Apparently here not uh, Factory capacitor, it is a repair. This, yes, obviously, and more repair a lot of repairs. And so, even on this board, some resistors were replaced. This was replaced. Apart from this, test points on the top trimmers, um, crystal here. 432.000 kHz. One weird unidentified unit here. Uh, old school power resistors here. Looks like old ring gum, this one even. But you will notice I do not see any bugs on this board. Seems quite. Uh, clean at the factory level at least, but obviously it had a very long life and it is dated of 78 here actually. Okay, so it was the first one, let me slide it back in place, try to at least, it does not collaborate. Next one, next one we have black aces this time. Black ceramic ICs. 
with uh, bubbles in the conformal coating that will totally prevent you to read the uh, information of the ICs except for this ones SN54 series from uh, Texas Instruments some probably metal can op amps here capacitor here of a fiable brand it means reliable also only one little bulge here so really quite clean so we have a serial number on the board we have a card number but we have no information about what it does and really i have no clue at all you can see the connector here is a different brand so lots of uh, clips at least it is sure so you might have I believe for this unit a control box with probably maybe a digital display of a readout of a frequency you did select but I do not have a matching control board box so I do not know exactly what it looks like next one we are back with a gold well this time a mix of everything golden ices ceramic ices uh, sandwich uh, mill grade ceramics here more test points tiny crystals here and uh, uh, back with a uh, socapex connectors ok steel texas instrument sn54 series ices and no budge by the way the tracks on this thing are quite impressive they look like they might be, uh, I guess, they could be handmade with a tape on a decal. Do not seem to, seem to be uh, computer routed. Not sure, but obviously it is a quite uh, complicated board, as you can see. Quite dense with all these uh, ices. So a lot of gold here, and I did just notice here, this I see the cover is uh, soldered sideways, you can see at an angle, it is not uh, properly aligned with the body of the IC, or did it pass the quality control, quite uh, interesting. We have actually two or three sizes, these ones are smaller. Ok, so very nice stuff, uh, quite a lot of gold by the way, at least, and here they did use grey silicone on the connectors. Next board, this one is uh, mostly only golden ices. So quite impressive here. Here is the back side for you. No budge. And again, ah, actually the conformal coating is peeling off here and it will reveal the IC number. You can see again the shape of the IC in the conformal coating. Quite interesting. So totally obscure uh, function again. Next board, more or less the same stuff. At least no shortage of uh, ICs. This is so. I hope we will find something different at some point. Ah, here we are. We have here a lot more. Uh, Passive parts, well, non-integrated parts, we will say, with quite a bunch of transistors, 2N, uh, 22, 22, some delay line here, few more ICs, of course, so seems more analog 
part here. For this reason, this capacitor is uh, pinning off his uh, label. Interesting. Three microseconds, one thousand ohm here. Okay. Next one. It is really uh, quite a lot of bounds. Ah, here we have different generation of ICs. You can see, well, not sure, but it is uh, actually uh, silver coated ICs with silver legs. The same uh, form factor, but silver here for some reason. Uh, well, here they did and write the uh, IC number because apparently they had already a problem with the label peeling off and the IC number are going off. No bulge, but I can see something very interesting and surprising made in West Germany. This is quite a surprise because it is written here board in French. It is branded LMT, but for some reason this board was manufactured in Germany. Quite uh, weird actually. We are left with three boards again made in West Germany, and really the same kind of uh, thing here. No shortage of uh, Tesla's instrument flat packs. Really, really nice. So I hope we will have something different for the last board. Here, again, a mix of uh, golden and silver ones, but with uh, a lot of them, the golden one missing the label. No more made in Germany. Some free space here for the information on the board. Little bit of a bulk wire here. So completely obscure stuff. Ah, last board is quite different. You can see this one has no integrated circuit, but a whole army of uh, resistors and capacitors. These cubes here are Torotel, they might be some uh, transformers. Very nice capacitors here. And again made in West Germany. Interesting. And I said no integrated circuits, but of course we still have some of these round clips. So a lot of parts on here, really. Still no information at all about what it does. Okay, and we are done with the circuit boards. We will continue with the power supply unit, quite a complicated shape as you can see, cutouts here for big long capacitors, cutouts also for airflow it seems, we have venting holes here and here, diecast construction here, the connector matching the one in the frame. Information about the uh, shop where it was repaired in uh, Toulon. It is a big uh, base of uh, Navy, French Navy Air Force, where the uh, aircraft carriers are located. Well, the aircraft carrier, I believe, because we have only one remaining. But uh, here we are. So. I did already undo most of the screws. I will save you of uh, most of the unscrewing action because I do not want this video to be eight hours long. 
So what do we have in here? Actually, you can see all the inputs here from the connector are fed through this uh, parts which are um, capacitive uh, pass-through filters. It will uh, let pass in this direction, maybe with uh, a coil inside and a conductor, but uh, relatively to the ground it will be a capacitor. And it does filter uh, most of the noise. Some aluminium oxide going on here. White powder. Apparently we have maybe this is just a big inductor because I see only two terminals on it. Big inductor here. It looks like a big transformer here. And it looks like in here we have a shielded module. Yes, I see one more inductor here. Power transistors here. But there is uh, something in here which is uh, totally impossible to reach, obviously, because of uh, mainly the wire harness in the way. So I will not be able to have a look at this, but uh, there is a shielded box, exactly the same material that the uh, high frequency boxes here. So apparently brass or uh, copper silver coated. So quite nice, big strap, grounding strap here, some uh, power transistors here, big diodes on the regulating board. The other side have the big uh, capacitors and you can see everything else. Signal transformer, old school General Electric uh, 2N1671 uh, uh, transistors in a uh, black case, Tantalex capacitors, some trimmers for adjustment, and it is all very nice wire harness all the way around. So quite a serious power supply obviously. Beautiful capacitors here says seem to be silver coated. Thick uh, cables here in Teflon insulator. So they are probably uh, silver coated conductors here. And this uh, shielded uh, transformer which is probably the main transformer of the unit. Yeah, we might have more stuff here on the bottom but it is totally impossible to reach. And even if I unscrew this transformer from this side, anyways it will not go far because of the wire harness. It will uh, not move uh, a lot, so it will not be able to do anything else. But it is uh, by far one of the nicest and most complicated power supply I have seen in a while. So I will put this back together and we will continue. Next we will do these two modules that were located under the power supply. This one is called multiplier, made of two boxes apparently. This one is called amplifier. Uh, very complicated but spoiler I did already uh, previously try to take it apart. I did remove this side and it is just on this side the back of the circuit board if I remember correctly. It means I will need to undo all the small screws here in order to be able to have a look at this. It will be obviously super fun, but I will start with a smaller one. So of course on this side I had to undo all the screws including the super tiny ones. And we have more surface mount parts. Actually through all parts they did surface mount. So uh, High frequency filter stuff, obviously, with uh, probably here what seem to be adjustable capacitors by Johnson. Super tiny thing here, and the same uh, weird material, circuit board material. So we might have actually 
something hidden in the middle here, some more electronics hidden, but I will not go that far in the disassembly. Yes, we have stuff in here, obviously. But you can see it is uh, pretty much uh, so kind of uh, filters, mechanical filters, or something like this. But uh, this is uh, quite complicated, and I have a lot of other box to do. So for this one, I will not go any further. So let me put this back together and go to the next box. So this unit required to undo uh, 25 screws of the firebox. I really hope it will be good. I would love to find a bridge in this uh, device, but so far I did not see anyone. So it is the last screw of the cover. What will we have inside? Stock cover? No. No stock cover. Almost no stock cover. But a little bit stock cover because of this, which is completely loose by the way. And it should come. Okay. So still no hybrids. As I said, removing the back cover is pointless because you will see only have a back of the board. But here, at least, you can see the contents. Seems to be a white material PCB. Very dense construction with uh, very crowded, lot of capacitors here and adjustable ones and so. Nice little compartments with uh, the components, filters probably here. So very nicely made. This one is not the same material. This one was uh, brass, silver coated, and this seems to be just aluminium. But still, it is quite nice. Nothing inside the cover. So beautiful electronics, but no hybrids. Okay, this actually should be a nice display part. Pay its own. Okay, I will uh, put it back together and we will go to the next modules. So, reinstalling all the tiny screws on here was not fun, but the next module will not be any better. I do not even remember in which direction this was. We have this one, which is Obviously, uh, more uh, silver coating here, which is a mystery module, nothing written. A wall bunch of uh, coax mounted to it. Apparently, a free level of boxes, so this one will be easy to access. This one also, the middle one a little bit less, but I will try to do something for you, at least. We will start with the easy ones, I believe the back one. Okay, so are you ready? What do you have in here? This. Uh, interesting, more uh, high frequency electronics, obviously. SN54160, one transistor IC with uh, heat sink, more golden ICs. Very intricate construction here, you can see. Interesting. In the cover, they did cutouts to accommodate these two parts because it was a bit, little bit too close of the cover, apparently, and they did uh, put some insulating material. Okay, super tiny screws, so at least no shortage of uh, tiny screws in this thing. So I will reinstall the this cover and open the next one. Next cover here. Here we are, more exactly all the same stuff. As you can see, this uh, video is so time consuming that uh, I save the time of one screw. Interesting. Uh, here they did clip the transistors on the wall to add as a heat sink. 
but still no fancy hybrids. So now I will open the main unit. So what do we have in here? Uh, more uh, stuff like this. Obviously, all the cover here, the screws securing the cover box. But it looks like I might be able to actually separate the two boxes here and have a look at what we have between them. If I can. Ah, there is one more screw. Will it be possible? Ah. Not really because of the wires that are in the way, but wait. It looks like if I undo this screw, it will give a little bit of room to be able to flip this out of the way, no. So what do we have in here? It is really annoying because of the wires. We have nice stuff actually. We have uh, things. Uh, maybe like this. Let me try. Uh, <laughs> you know what? These three wires are the only one in the way. Particular this one, let me deal with it. Considering this one is not going to be your anytime soon, I believe I can do it. I can cut uh, this here. What I can cut this and this. Which I will remove completely like this. And now, ah, of course, there is only always one wire, and here we are. Okay, so uh, still no hybrids, but at least we're stuff this. Uh, Unidentified part. It is called uh, no TB4 or L1. Probably yes, maybe an adductor. Super nice uh, silver plated box here with what seems to be a circuit board inside, but I do not think it will come off. Yes, it is soldered. And apparently here maybe one relay. Okay, so I was curious to see inside here. You can see this uh, super cool adjustable capacitor probably with uh, gold hands. Yes, there is a screw inside. You will uh, screw in and out and it will uh, do some uh, capacitor action. Okay, here we have the back of this module, which is not of much interest, but really, this was interesting to have a look at uh, this part. So I will try to put this back together, and we will continue because we have two more modules left. Next unit will be this one. So here I am annoyed because the modules here in the middle, they will not be possible to reach except if I cut a lot of wires. It should require cutting here. You cannot even desolder because you can see the work here quite uh, insane. And also we have wires here between the plug and the module directly. So even even unbolt this U-shape piece. Uh, I could unscrew here at the back, but the access is on the side here. And even I will not be able to access the side, uh, the modules here and here. So it will keep its secret, but I will do the three external modules. Uh, again, made in West Germany, quite uh, surprising. 
lot of coax. This one is going to the main transmitter unit, which will be the last box we will open. But we will start with uh, these modules. So this one is again written out of order. So here it is just four screws, so I can do them on camera. So what do we have in here? Uh, it is just four screws, I said, but it is not coming at all. No, because probably we have internal uh, links and it is uh, keeping it uh, closed. So, sadly, this one will keep it also, its secrets also. So, ideally, when I find such uh, devices, I need to find two of them. I need to find one in a good, pretty condition for keeping in a connection. And I need to find one damage that it will be possible to take apart completely with no regrets. It is the ideal situation, but so far it did only happen once, I believe, for the uh, PRC352 radio, if I remember correctly. So here we have an amplifier RF written as out of order. So probably one of these uh, components is dead. You have more of these super nice gold plated adjustable uh, capacitors. You have this thing, it seems to be a crystal oscillator in a round can like this, not uh, usual. Branded LMT. And some op amps probably. Nice, uh, probably high frequency diodes on this connect particular kind of connector here. This box is obviously secured by one screw here. This screw is not original, I did put it in place myself because it was uh, actually lose this box when I received the device. Okay, and nice uh, gold color here in the cover. Okay, we reinstall this one and we will open the other one. So this box is called the uh, uh, driver impulse generator. What I did remove quite a few screws. What do we have in here? Okay, it means I need to undo. I believe it will be possible to reach this one, but I need to unscrew here from the back. Really, this, uh, you can see this uh, unit is uh, super, super tedious. One of the most tedious things I have done in a while. And, of course, we are again with a number of screws to undo. Some uh, wires are disconnected in the process, by the way, and soldered. This is just insane. Big, uh, regular... Uh, Screws here you can find in the hardware store, by the way. Uh, oh, yes, everything is disconnected now. But you can see the, thanks to the wire harness, you can see the order of the wires. So it could be possible to resolder them in the correct order. If I really want to bother with it, but I do not think so. Well, anyways, it can always it can always be done later, so it is not a big deal. But it see it shows uh, this unit was tinkered a lot, and uh, all the connections are loose. And my focus is loose also. So I hope at least it will be interesting in this box. Okay, always the same kind of stuff. Naturally. Maybe at least I found my hybrid. Because here we have a box with eight contacts completely shielded. Do I need 
WG logo on it M6E on nothing else but opening it will be destructive obviously so I do not think I will do it but quite interesting ok so we put this back together and we will attack the last module which will be quite tedious also because of a number of screws so stay tuned so finally the last module the transmitter uh, I hope we will have interesting stuff inside maybe even a high power vacuum transmitting tube only so three connections on here one very nice gold plated or welded and shielded cannon plug with uh, actually the cannon logo here uh, and three coax inputs but I believe only one was connected if I remember correctly maybe two I did already undo most of the screws the stainless steel handle and we have here a built in heat sink with the main output so let's see what we have inside I expect good stuff I hope no bad surprises but you never know ok so nice cover here aluminium and oh well look at this it seems very much like we are missing something actually this uh, coax connector is uh, connected to nothing and there is a standoff here for a screw so it looks like something was removed also nothing connected here onto the coax quite annoying and a few loose wires so we are missing a unit so is it the main uh, power device a power amplifier device I, I have no idea we have apparently the wall module here will uh, come out all the nice blue things at the other side at least so it is a problem with stuff that has been tinkered in uh, the workshop you do not know what you will find obviously something is also missing in here quite sad ideally I need to find no I am seeking for one module like this in a complete condition so I could just swap the module in the unit and get a complete unit again so this unit has already a lot of good stuff but uh, it is a little bit sad for this but uh, it happens sadly and given uh, how uh, hard it was to open the cover at first glance I know the seller was not aware about this missing part because I had a lot of pain to undo the uh, cover of the device uh, the main big black cover ok, wire harness here to this module and obviously I need to undo the other side it should allow me to extract the wall module an insane number of screws in here in this thing so again ah, at least at this side we have stuff it is not empty some screws are obviously not original here because we have Philips screws some nice modules so it will be interesting to have a look at everything here let me grab the screwdriver I will need for this. 
This will do the job, okay. So, it looks like two big screws here will unlock this unit. And we'll be able to extract it from the case. Like this, okay. This was easy enough. We have here interesting stuff. Ah, oh, actually, super interesting stuff because look at this. I know what we are missing here. We are missing one unit like this. Uh, they seem to be probably high power vacuum tubes in a ceramic gold package. Very nice. In focus, it will be even better. And here we have what seems to be glass tubes. I guess we have adjustable vacuum capacitors. Something like this. Really, really interesting. It is just very sad for the missing one here. And there are four terminal devices, it seems. Probably we have a heater filament. And it is the first time I see this particular form factor. So either they are semiconductors, either they are vacuum. Quite uh, interesting. Uh, regular things here. Yes, more of these units here. It is called, yes, power amplifier, as expected. So the missing part is not really the power amplifier itself. It is something else, maybe a relay, a switching relay, or antenna tuner, maybe, something like this. So I wonder what we have here. Actually, this might be some uh, high voltage power supply for the uh, vacuum tubes. Excuse me for focus. And it looks like we will reveal nothing more, in fact, because I can see this module is completely sealed everywhere. This one also. We have one circuit board here with this part. Quite a power supply-ish things. One more board here with just, it seems, some uh, no, yeah. Let me try to undo this and check if we can find any more information. Uh, but obviously, the two modules here are completely sealed and it will not reveal anything more. Mm. No, you can see already uh, this is just an isolator plate. We have a board here with maybe two or three capacitors or diodes, something like this. And it is all. And everything else is coated in this gunk. And here also. Okay, so it looks like some kind of high voltage power supply. So maybe if we have vacuum tubes here, power vacuum tubes. It, they need uh, some high, po high voltage power supply, not sure. Also, we have what seems to be a round coil or transformer here. Okay, so very nice parts here at least. Quite nice surprise, but disappointment here for a missing part. Yes, uh, might be some uh, relay switching device because we have what seems to be a control wire here we have obviously two coax here so maybe one was coming here and the other one was here somewhere and we have ground 
Okay, so it happens that you miss uh, parts in equipment, sadly. And hello, the sun. Okay, I guess uh, you know what? This will be the end of this uh, video with because it is time to go outside and have some sun. Or more uh, precisely, spend a few hours in front of a computer editing. Okay, quite interesting device. A lot of uh, old school electronics. Just sad for the missing part here, but who knows, maybe one day I will find one module right like this and I will be able to swap it. Given the serial number, quite high. Here you can see 1299, so it means uh, at least there are uh, 1298 other ones around. God only knows how many did survive so far, but it is not impossible I find one someday. Maybe it will be complete. Hopefully. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.